Good day and welcome to one of the favorite sport programs on TV, Plus Sport. It's interesting we've been hearing so much comment in regards to this program on Facebook, on Twitter and Instagram, telling us how much they prefer to stick with us when it's time for sport and other um, events on the program. My name is Mudashi Ushitu. Today will not be different because we'll be looking at three interesting topic. I have a guest in the house, but I'm not introducing the guest right now. He's um, a, sport, uh, a football analyst that I've been spending so much time on understanding the game of football and other sport. Yes, before I introduce my guest, we'll look at um, Delta 2022. The National Sport Festival is over, but there's still some interesting highlights about the 12th um, edition of the National Sport Festival. And, about, and that's about the foreign based Nigerians at the festival. They all came from the various um, places across, um, the, um, across um, America, UK, London, and they participated at the Sport Festival in representing that state. Some represented Delta State, some represented River State. But what's thing common about them, as you can see, is that um, they work together, they stick together, and they set festival record. We have um, Chiku Ebuka, he's an African record holder in, um, in, um, in short put. We also have um, Shade Olatoye, and not forgetting Ashley Anuba. These wonderful ladies have done so well um, for the country. And not forgetting winning um, Commonwealth Games champion, Chioma Oyekwewe, um, who won silver um, in this event. All of them together, working together. And, you know, it's interesting to have these people represent the various, not the various state, the state, the state that decided to, to bring them together. Enjoy this when they spend much time talking about their exploit at the just concluded National Sport Festival in Asaba. The festival is always a difficult meet. So last time I came was 2018. I set records in the shot put as well as the hammer throw. And this time around, I set the national record in the hammer throw. I'm very excited about that. Hopefully I'll set another national sports festival record in the shot put. I'm happy with how I'm performing under difficult conditions. Um, so the experience has been, it's been all right. Uh, being able to come here, uh, place gold uh, in the women's hammer and the women's shot put has been great. Um, I know that I'm still in the in the beginning of my training stage since I'm still preparing for indoor season. So seeing the marks that, marks that I had here um, is just an indication that there's more to come. Um, the competition has been all right. Uh, you know, seeing competitors I saw last year at national trials, see them doing better has been really good. Uh, seeing that there's progress, so that's good for the, uh, the future of Nigerian sports, and I hope that continues for everybody. My first national sports festival, I was excited to compete and come back. Um, it's been good time training after the end of the season, so I'm glad to be back and shake off some of the rust and be able to be back in Nigeria. Yeah, so I've just been training. I've done some competition. The only time I've represented Nigeria was for the um, 2019 All-African Games in Morocco. Um, but this is the second time I'm coming back and um, competing. So, yes. It was amazing. I can't believe that so many people were supporting me and just cheering me on. Um, two of my aunties here in Asaba, they even came to support me. And I threw my best because everybody was here for